Emily's dad, and I came with my beautiful wife, Emily's mom, Jill Lynn, Yay. Emily's Yay. sister, Elizabeth. First thing I'd like to do is thank the Zell family and the Halvin family for picking up the slack for us because we're geographically out there. <laughs> so thank you very much for that. Woo! Emily is a traveler, uh, and I think, I would like to think that I showed her how to travel when she was a youngster, when I used to take my girls with me on business trips, and I would take them to all different cities on the West Coast, because I was a traveling salesman, and the way I got them to go was by telling them we're going on an adventure. Yeah. Because we didn't do the tourist stuff, we just went to a city, wherever it was, and I tried to make the best of it. So that's when their early years happened. And so, Emily took the traveling better than Liz and Jolene did, but so Emily and I became traveling companions. And in her middle years, Emily learned how to go on international trips with various adult chaperones, like at 14 or 15 years old. So she was off in Europe doing all kinds of stuff, very low budget, but she did it. And she, she had more visa stamps than I ever got before she was 18. And when you travel, it kind of changes you a little, change me. Because you, you're, you're running around with a suitcase and not much else and it, it simplifies things and you, you're able to see the beauty of every day you have to learn patience to deal with the, the possible interruptions of travel and all of that stuff and then you see the kindness of your fellow fellow people and always love you, you're able to see love when you're on the road and it, it's it's, it just makes it so simple. And we all need love because that's really the ultimate goal is for us to love each other. So, Emily and I, I we've done a couple of trips together, but most of the time when she was in international locations, I was traveling vicariously with her because I was her, her anchor here and she'd be calling me from all different places, asking me for advice or she had money in her savings account, and we used to put a minimal amount in her checking account. So we, if she had a problem, we didn't have a problem. So I was always moving money around and doing all kinds of things. And it, it just worked. And I was, I was with her the whole time. And then she met Aaron. She uh, slowly stopped calling me as much as she used to call me. She... Uh, uh, it slowly moved over to, to old Aaron over there. And I couldn't be happier because Aaron's a wonderful young man. I love him to death. So my toast is for them to have in their future days a journey fueled full of beautiful days, patience, kindness, and love for the rest of your lives.